Hi Gemini. Just like to say thank you for everyone that's been uh, dropping by. We'll get straight into it, Gemini. Two of Cups, Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Judgment card, Six of Cups. So first from the top left, we have the Two of Cups. This is a beautiful card of union, togetherness, a love, perhaps a love that is already in your life if you are coupled up. Or if you're single, this indicates a strong love that's coming to you. Now, this is a really strong union. And it will really make you feel in your element, which is indicated by the Queen of Swords here. This is the Queen of Air. It really comes through as a strong Gemini sign for me. And the Ace of Wands also indicates a new, a new sign is coming to you, a new person. It could be an air sign. It could be a fire sign. It could be someone that has a lot of... Uh, fire and or air in their chart is influenced by these elements most likely but the two of cups really is a beautiful union so if you're currently in a relationship I feel as though there could be talks of children which is indicated by the six of uh, cups you could be adopting children thinking about having children planning to get pregnant taking the steps you need to uh, start this this pregnancy or building this family if you are in an existing partnership and you already have children, then I feel as though a lot of time will be spent with these children. But I must mention as a precursor here, you do have the Seven of Swords and this indicates deceit, obstacles, uh, something not going to plan, something blinding you, something that comes to fruition completely out of the blue and might throw you off a little bit. So this could very well have something to do with your children. You do also have the Judgment card here, so this could... This could also indicate if you are single and you have this this person coming into your life, you could have a very good judgment about this person. You could know them very well. This could also indicate that they're a childhood sweetheart. Perhaps you went to school with them or you knew them from your childhood. Whatever this is, this is a person that has a lot of stability around them. And again, I don't feel like this is much of the other person that will be doing the deceiving with the Seven of Swords. I feel as though perhaps you will have some obstacles around when and if you meet them. Or there's some sort of obstacle that's coming in, in the way in preventing you from meeting them. Also with the Two of Cups, if this is relation uh, in relation to a work professional uh, facet, then obviously I feel as though you'll be sitting down and talking with a lot of clients. Again, I must mention, make sure the clients have your best interest at heart, because again, with the Seven of Swords, there is deceit here, Gemini. But you will be meeting with a lot of people. You will be li liaising with a lot of people indicated by the Queen of Swords, but this is someone that really has her words together. She's a master of communication. She knows what it is that she wants to say. She can articulate herself perfectly and communicate what it is that she needs to. With the Ace of Wands, I'm sensing there's a new opportunity here. So it could most certainly come to you in the form of a job. This could indicate a job interview with the Two of Wands and you will ace this job interview. You've got the Queen of Swords on your side. I must mention, however, if a contract is being presented to you, make sure you read the fine print because you do have the judgment card and again, the Seven of Swords is there, it's potent. Make sure you read the fine print, you're happy with the salary, etc. Because the judgment card could also indicate you formulating judgment, signing contracts, etc. Now moving on, we have the Queen of Swords. And as I said, it really just highlights that you are in your element. You're getting things done. You're working towards your goals. You're in the mind headspace. You're feeling liberated. You're feeling free. You're feeling content. You're feeling like a queen. So there's a really good energy about you here. And it's almost as if you're on your high horse. But with the Seven of Swords, I feel as though there's a bit of a reality check coming, coming for you. Some sort of obstacle. Now, this could be at work. As I mentioned, you do have the judgment card. This could be a bit of gossip at work in relation to love. If you are getting involved with someone in your workplace, there could be a bit of judgments formulated around you. Again, judgment card could also indicate some sort of contract coming to you. And as I've mentioned before, check this fine print with the Seven of Swords. But, but I feel as though this is only minor, especially because you have such a strong influence of Ace of Wands and Queen of Swords. You really have your wits about you. You're very methodical. You're extra methodical in your thinking. Also with the Queen of Swords, if this is relationship to, if this is in regard to a relationship, I feel as though, as I've mentioned to you before, there's a lot of talks with this person. There was a lot of communication with this person. I'm not sure if they're overseas or they're away from you, or they're working a lot, or even if they're not away from you, I feel as though you will be very close with your partner. There's a lot of closeness, there's a lot of communication between you and your partner. 
which is always positive. And if there isn't up some sort of obstacle coming to you in the form of a court case or judgment from in-laws, etc., I feel as though you will overcome that. It could even be someone might place judgment with a seven of swords. It's almost as if someone might place judgment about how you're raising your children if you have some or, the, or what kind of work you do or if you're getting involved in legal systems, what sort of or settlements or of any kind, what sort of uh, approaches you're undertaking. So this could be in the form of family putting in their input. This could also indicate that a partner is putting in their input to you in regards to a judgment, a contract, a settlement of some sort, formulating judgments about what it is that you're doing. But maybe with the Seven of Swords, you're partaking in something that isn't uh, widely accepted. Maybe you're doing something that's frowned upon. Maybe that's you're doing something that's hush, hush, and only you know about it. I'm not sure what it is, Gemini, but I say, as I mentioned to you, it could be some sort of obstacle. You could be partaking in these things. Also with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like you're being blinded by your thoughts. Anxiety might be coming in, swooping in and overtaking you um, and overwhelming you in reaching your goal with the Ace of Wands here. And whatever goal it is, whether you want to meet someone here, you will meet someone new. And the Judgment card is here, so Karma is here. On the Six of Cups here, which is a beautiful card of union, children, love, partnership, blossoming, etc. So you will overcome it. I just want to stress that you will definitely overcome these thoughts or this anxiety or words, etc. But moving on, we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands really is a brand new opportunity. And it's interesting that it's right next to the Love card, right below, I should say. This could really indicate that you have a new love coming in Gemini. And it's very well, this person could very well have a child with them. You could very well uh, have, embrace in this union together, get engaged, get married, settle for the long term. Get into a contract, a de facto relationship, an engagement contract, a settlement, move into a home with these people with this person, this significant other. And if it's not in a new relationship, then I feel, as though, I feel as though with the Ace of Wands, you are undertaking a new job, a new venture of some sort. And you could see you and your whole family being involved in some way, shape or form. It could even indicate some sort of settlement again with the Judgment card. Something karmic with the Ace of Wands. New opportunity, Hand of God, beautiful card. Again, I'm, I'm I'm sensing this could be a, potentially a second chance, but I feel almost it's it's a brand new start of some kind. Whether it's a brand new person or someone you've known from your childhood, someone you've previously had a, previously had a relationship with, you've made judgment about them. They've made judgment on you, and now it's time for a new call of judgment to see whether you two are compatible again. Whether you can go forth and create yourself a brand new beautiful relationship which is indicated by the Ace of Wands, so that's coming through quite strongly, Gemini. But moving on, we have the Judgment card again, could indicate legalities, contracts, formulating judgments. This could also indicate that people are judging you on this relationship in some way, shape or form that may be upsetting, indicated by the Seven of Swords, or maybe really liberating, which is indicated by the Queen of... the. Uh, sorry, the deceit and the judgment is indicated by the Seven of Swords, but the, the brightness and admirality is coming from the Queen of Swords and the Six of Cups here. But there's definitely judgment around you. If this is in a work situation, I feel as though you're either rereading a contract, you are being reviewed, someone's reviewing you, someone's judging you, someone's uh, got you on close watch, Gemini. So it's important that you're extra aware and considerate of your actions at work this month because you are being watched very closely and you might even be called into the office of some sort and to sit down and talk. And you will have to explain and account yourself for something and I feel as though you will do that quite successfully. So not to fret there. Now, with the Six of Cups, this is this really is a beautiful card of nostalgia, children, day-to-day -day life almost. And it's interesting that the Seven of Swords are just above that. So there could be this issue, this obstacle in your day-to-day -day life. This could be a fitness thing. This could be that you get overwhelmed and you're just... Uh, getting run down and perhaps injure yourself in some way. It could be minor. But the Six of Cups could also indicate a new blossoming relationship. And again, I'm tempted to say it could be someone from the past that's coming in that you've had a strong connection to. And you almost feel like a child with this person. There's a really childlike innocence about this person and about your union. So that could certainly be it. 
maybe this is the month where this person comes back and offers you a brand new opportunity and you're, you're forced to make this judgment about them, but I feel as though you will. But I must mention there's deceit here. There's deceit with the Seven of Swords. There's an obstacle of some sort. But you, you will find out what it is, Gemini, because the Queen of Swords is someone who forms judgment very, very methodically. She analyzes. She investigates. She's intense. So you will be able to uncover what this is. Only you will know. But we'll have a look and see of what this uh, Ace of Wands is bringing you. It appears that it's bringing you new love or perhaps a new professional opportunity. But I feel it's more to do with love. So we'll have a look and see what this beautiful Ace of Wands can be offering you. Priestesses, tell us what this Ace of Wands is offering. Okay, so it's offering you faith in a situation. So the Priestess of Faith really is magical. She's the creator of her own world. That's she's, she's a master in faith. She knows what she wants. She has the faith, the ability to create new worlds. Here she is creating these new worlds, holding the sun in her hands. She's, she's faith. This will come through. And I'm inclined to feel as though I need to tell you, you need to have faith in a situation. You've got good judgment about this situation. And it could very well have to do with love. I feel it's more love than anything else. But you will, you need to, you need to have faith because in your judgments, I'm tempted to say, you need to have faith in your judgments because the priestess of faith is, faith is here. She's around you. You need to have faith in this person. You've made the judgment call. You've made up your analytical and rational mind up. You've, you've allowed for this ace of ones, this person. Maybe this is a person that has, I'm telling you, that has come back from the past. Maybe this is a person that already has children. Maybe there's a lot of air energy, fire energy with this person, this union here. But you need to have faith faith in this person. I feel as though you're lacking faith. Maybe they have been dishonest before. Maybe they have hurt you in some way before with the seven of swords. But it's time to have faith. This person has changed. Ace of Wands are offering you a different kind of relationship, a different kind of start. So it's all about faith. That's big with this Ace of Wands if it's bringing you with something to do with love, which I feel as though it really is. But we'll have a look and see if there's any obstacles coming up in your career. Priestesses, tell us if there's any obstacles coming up in Gemini career. Should we be alarmed by these Seven of Swords? This Judgment card, what is it indicating? What is it bringing you, the Seven of Swords? What will we learn from this obstacle? What will it teach us? Okay, it's beauty. So again, this could have something to do with some sort of uh, gossip around you. This obstacle is bringing you beauty. So again, it could be something connected with health. You could be injuring yourself. You could be working towards, I'm not sure, but I'm picking up injections of some sort, enhancements, beautifying yourself, getting your hair done, etc. This could have some sort of obstacle. Maybe it won't go the way you want it to. But you're working towards beauty and this obstacle will make you more beautiful. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean beauty on the outside. It's beauty on the inside. It's, it will make you more creative because the moons represent creativity. And here you have all the phases of the moon indicating there's a culmination, there's a whole transformation here in regards to your beauty, your inner beauty. This is enlightenment also. This obstacle needs to happen here in front of you. It will bring you enlightenment. It will beautify you not only physically but internally as well. But all in all, that's a really good spread, Gemma.